Matt Arroyo, I am five and three, unofficially, and uh, I retired in 2009. Um, I didn't wrestle uh, or fight at all really growing up um, you know you'd get in scuffs here and there but in school but nothing crazy I, I really didn't have my first real street fight until I was an adult uh, I played sports I played baseball um, in Little League and then I played it again in high school um, but no no real combat sports at all I wanted to do karate you know growing up I watched all the movies things like that but at the time, my parents couldn't afford it, so uh, it wasn't in my cards. My first memory of MMA, I, I kind of came to the show a little late. I know it, it obviously happened in the UFC, one was in 93, but um, I didn't really see anything until around 2000. Uh, I heard of it and everything, but to really actually watch one, I was it was in my first year of college, and uh, it was at Blockbuster Video. Uh, I watched, I just grabbed one, put it in, and it happened to be UFC 1, and uh, when I watched Hoist Gracie just dismantle everyone, just like a lot of other black belts today, it's kind of like the first thing we saw. Uh, I, I knew I had to learn it, but I had to put it on hold because I was playing baseball in college. So I didn't do anything from 2000 all the way until 2003, which is my first official class. 2000, I graduated from high school. I, I did college baseball in upstate New York at Morrisville. Transferred down here to the University of Tampa to play baseball. Played for a couple seasons, but just quickly realized that this wasn't going to happen for me. You know, I was around guys who were. I was a pitcher. I, these guys were throwing 94 miles an hour right here in college on my team. I was throwing about 83, 84. You know, I did okay, but I knew just just by the sheer competition around me, I knew I wasn't going to get in the major leagues at that at that rate. So, I decided to stop playing baseball in about 2003. I was a junior in in college, and that's when I took my I went home for the summer in New York, and I just Googled or maybe it was Yahoo back then, who knows. But I, I searched for uh, Jiu Jitsu in Albany, which was the closest uh, city to where I lived in that rural area. And weirdly enough, you know, destiny, the stars aligning, Hoist Gracie, the guy that I watched and idolized, was gonna be at that school 20 miles from my house that weekend for a seminar. So I decided I'm going, there's nothing stopping me from going there. I was 20 years old, it was 2003. And I drove up there, actually got a speed, speeding ticket on the way because I was so excited. Got the ticket, didn't care, finished driving there and took my first official jiu-jitsu class with Hoist Gracie. And then when I came back to Tampa, Florida, uh, I found out Rob Kahn, uh, who's a Hoist Gracie black belt, uh, was moving to Tampa to open a school. So I knew I had to train with him and I knew that that was going to be where I, where I went. And after training with Rob Kahn, you know, I got very good, very fast, just from his techniques and the things that he showed me, and we, we just meshed very quickly and became very close friends and, and you know, training partners and, and, you know, student, teacher, mentor. And uh, I really had no desire to fight at all, really. I, it wasn't even in my brain. I thought everybody that did that was crazy, and I really just literally fell in love with jiu-jitsu, and that's all I really wanted to do. But what happened was in 2000, so about two years of training, uh, I, was a, I got my purple belt from Rob. So literally I was a blue belt, pretty crappy one. And within six months of meeting Rob, I got my purple belt and was beating black belts. So that's a testament to, to my coach uh, of how good he is. Um, but I literally had zero desire to do MMA. I was whatever. And then there was a guy named Alan Barubi. We called him Monsta, Monsta Lobster. He had a restaurant here in Tampa. He's one of my best friends right now. And uh, he came in just out of nowhere. He had some boxing experience. And he basically told me and Rob that within two weeks of him training, he's gonna be able to tap us out. So I was a purple belt. Rob was already a world-class black belt. And I was thinking, you know, but he did it in a way where we were, we didn't dislike him. He kind of made it a funny, you know, way. So we were like, man, this guy, is he serious? So two weeks went by and we still crushed him, of course. But he decided to promote his restaurant, his, his Monster Lobster restaurant here in Tampa, that he would take an MMA fight. He had been training boxing his whole life, wrestling in high school, and now, you know, six months of jiu-jitsu. So I'm thinking, man, I feel bad for him. He's gonna get taken to the ground, he's gonna get crushed. Because I remember, you know, I was a purple belt, he was a white belt, and I was crushing him. So why wouldn't these other guys crush him? So anyway, I was like, I'm gonna support my friend, I helped him. You know, I did whatever he needed me to do, I helped train. 
and I show up to his fight, and Alan wins by a guillotine choke in round one. And at that moment, in hours before that, minutes before that, I had zero desire to fight MMA. That moment, I grabbed my coach, Rob Khan, and I said, Rob, sign me up for a fight, man, I gotta do this. If he did that, I was like, I'm gonna kill someone. And that's just the way I thought. I was you know, 22 years old, and it was just the natural next step. So from there, Rob literally talked to the promoter and said, we wanna get Matt on the next card. So three months later, I find myself stepping into an MMA cage, scared out of my mind, like, why did I do this? Just because some competitive, stupid thing I have with my friend, if he can do it, I can do it type thing. And I basically went in, I had, I had zero striking. I, like, I, I don't even know what I was doing. Wrestling, very minimal. Like I knew a couple takedowns, a double leg. And I went in and uh, in 58 seconds, I got the rear naked choke. I was fighting a striker, luckily. So I didn't have to take too much damage. I took him down, took his back and, and did the rear naked choke. So that's how I got into fighting.